Hey guys, today I'm going to treat you to a full performance of Tenyo's Bolted. I was unable to find a performance of this anywhere on YouTube, however, I found a link to a YouTube video on a different website, but even that wasn't a full performance of this to show you what this beauty can do. It is going to use a couple of little plaques, as you can see, and along with the plaques, we're also going to use a bolt and a nut. Perhaps you caught that from the name that we're going to be using a bolt. Now these two plaques can get aligned crosswise like this, and we'll line the hole up, as you can see. We're also going to use an eight of diamonds, and this is perhaps the most important player. And it's just going to go right between these two plaques. By the way, the eight of diamonds does have a hole in it as well. So we're going to try to line up the eight of diamonds hole with the plaques hole, and then we're going to bolt this whole thing together, short of making a permanent eight of diamonds sandwich. And we'll just lock that thing on. Beautiful. So I hope you can see there is the eight of diamonds in between. I actually, I've actually messed this up a little. The eight should not be this way. It should be focused this way. That was my fault. But still, eight of diamonds pointed this way, not this way. But here's the idea. The eight of diamonds is somehow, when I snap my fingers, going to dematerialize itself just enough to pass right through the bolt. The card's completely normal. And of course, in between the two plaques is, well, obviously nothing. And, of course, the nut can come off, the bolt can come out, the bolt can be completely examined. There's absolutely nothing left. Somehow, the Eight of Diamonds penetrated directly through the bolt, but remained unharmed. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is Tenyo's Bolted. And you've finally seen a full performance of this classic. 